process through Prosper. How challenging is the last week for you being with sort of boys coming in and out? Uh, yeah, obviously not ideal. We experienced similar stuff, I guess, back in 2020 and 21 uh, with interrupted seasons for whatever it may be. But uh, yeah, obviously last week had its challenges and this week will have its challenges, but hopefully we can get a hold of it by then and we'll be right in a couple of weeks' time. No one else thinking about at the moment? Nah, not at the moment. Um, yeah, I think, yeah, that's it. Fingers, fingers crossed, yeah. Maybe I'll ask about the injured guys. We'll start with you. How are you going? We saw you saw a little bit at the start of the session. And how's your body? Do you expect to, to be a chance to play this week? Yeah, it's, uh, it was just a really light run for me. So Thursday, I guess we get more of an indication in regards to how I'm feeling. But uh, yeah, I pass every test. So I guess it's just risk versus reward at the end of the day, I think. Um, how I pull up, how the medical staff sees it, where the coach sees it, it'd be a combi combination of all that. Yeah, fingers crossed. That's sort of the plan, I guess. Um, <clears throat> I mean, I, if there's no indication for me not to play, I mean, there's no reason why I wouldn't play. Um, my body feels actually pretty good. The injuries to date feel pretty good. So, like I said, I think it's going to come down to um, how I get through Wednesday, uh, Thursday session, what sort of speeds I can reach, um, whether I feel confident in it myself. Um, but yeah, I think that's what will ultimately be the decision. Um, yeah, it's been frustrating, but it is what it is, and um, you're always going to have those challenges, and just get on with it. Do you feel any extra, maybe, urgency to get back because the team's had so many guys coming in and out, and uh, you've sort of been getting lost, getting lost for a little while? Not really. I think that would just be reckless, to be honest. I think it would be, um, it's certainly not panic stations. We had a really good start to the season, and I guess. Um, although we want to keep winning every single week, um, we're certainly not going to be risking players at this point of year with uh, a final series just around the corner. I think that would be yeah, extremely reckless. Um, I don't feel any extra pressure. Um, the boys have won without me before. They've won without a number of players before. So um, we need to you know, just get back to our basics this week, um, do the fundamentals right, which we struggled with a little bit on the weekend, which was probably expected. Uh, but hopefully with a more settled week this week, I think we'll be, um, we'll be fine. I think they'll be in the exact same boat as me. I think it's going to be risk versus reward again. Um, Bezzas was really minor. Uh, Richie seems to be tracking along really well. I think he's in probably he's probably more in the same boat as me. Bez is probably lesser of the two, uh, the three. Um, but once again, you know, come Thursday and we really open up the gates and see how we go. I think we won't know till then. When they got it, yeah, I think so. That's. I think that's it. We've got tomorrow off. I think most of them come out. Most of them, all of them tested on Wednesday last week, and that's when they found out they had it. So um, they'll all be out tomorrow, and they'll be training Thursday. Have a, hopefully have a really good flush run, and um, should all hopefully take their spots on Saturday. Do you have any sort of indication on how they are? If they've been over No, nah, they've been good, which is yeah probably one positive to take out of it. Uh, a couple of migraines here and there, but other than that, um, some of them don't have symptoms, which is a good result. I was impressed with him, yeah. I mean, it's always difficult to come in and I guess when you debut younger players, uh, you've normally got the experience of the older guys around you to sort of help nurse you through it and he probably had to do it a tougher way on the weekend. I thought he did really well. Obviously, he kicked his first goal, which was a great moment for him. Uh, but even defensively, I thought he did a couple of really good things right, which we've seen in these reserves games this year. So, um, yeah, really pleased with the way he went. Um, he's certainly got a bright future in the game. Um, and I think with all the boys that came in, um, they did a really good job under the circumstances. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, you should gain a lot of confidence out of it. Um, I mean, he's come into the position where we probably lost the most experience of our team. You know, with Harris and uh, Noah Answorth, Richie. Uh, the list goes on. So, um, yeah, to come in and be able to do that with, you know. 
um, a less experienced back line was really good for him. Really good. What would you like to see from the team this weekend, Zorks, regard? You know, we don't know who's going to run out, but what's your expectation in terms of Oh, just defensively we need to be a lot better we obviously understand that we can kick a score if the ball gets in there enough we know we can kick a score but we've got to stop um, allowing easy goals and I thought uh, the ability for um, Essendon and the Giants have done it in the past to us and so did Hawthorne earlier on in the year to move the ball from our um, forward 50 way too easily and score um, that was yeah quite um, disappointing to see on the weekend so from that aspect of our game we need to tighten up that significantly and and that's just not on the forwards that's on the midfielders squeezing down as well and obviously the defenders squeezing down on top of them so um, it's a whole team and collective effort but I think if we can clean that up we'll be right. Do you guys feel, I mean you're hitting a rough shot in the middle of the season, do you feel that more pressure heading into the finals because of your recent form that, that you need to start you know, ending the season with a couple of wins to get that confidence back? Oh, we need to uh, end the season in a manner that allows us to play good finals football and I think in the past we've come in really hot and it hasn't worked for us um, but I think if we can start playing some football that is resembling of what we've been able to do over the last few years I think that would be really key to us going deep this year and I'm, I'm very confident in our playing group that we can get that done I thought a game against the Bulldogs um, under a fair bit of adversity and the game against St Kilda in a similar fashion um, were two of our better performances of the year everyone stood up our defensive pressure was really hot. We made it really hard for them to score. Um, on the weekend, that wasn't quite there, but I know if we bring that back, the rest of it, our game will take care of itself. Oscar out before, it's going to have to carry a lot, of, a lot of that load. I guess this season we've seen some really good signs from him when he's been given those chances to show what he He has. He's been a really strong pickup for us. I think um, his ability to work with O when, he, um, when they were in there together, um, obviously this week he gets to shoulder the load and be the number one ruck, which I know is something he's really excited about doing. Um, but I think you know his biggest asset for us this year has been his ability to go forward to kick a, you know, 13 or 14 goals, which is um, you know awesome for Ruckman to be able to do that. So he'll really relish the uh, the opportunity on the weekend, and I have a full faith that he'll get the job done. Yeah, uh, absolutely. I mean, there's probably teams outside the top eight at the moment that you probably make a case for that could win it. So uh, it's a very tight competition. Um, I think as a fan you'd be absolutely pumped that you can go to the footy every weekend and uh, your team's a genuine chance of winning. Um, and I guess for those teams up the top, I mean, if you're off a little bit of a percent, anyone's going to be able to beat you. So it's uh, shaping up to be a pretty exciting next six weeks in the competition and, um, you know, we're ready to get amongst it. Exciting times for them. Yeah. Oh yeah, they've been challenging over the last 24 hours, but uh, yeah, no, I wouldn't have it any other way. Uh, yeah, obviously it's disappointing for Nobes. Uh, it is what it is and completely out of my control or hard to comment on it. But um, yeah, I, I know from him being at the club, he was an amazing guy, amazing operator. So it's um, disappointing for him, but um, you know, I'm sure there's, there's plenty of other things in the pipeline for him.